EMFC chip has been a bit troublesome since the beginning, but in the last few days I've had some time to get a proper look at it. In particular, I've never really been able to boot directly from the EMMC, and as it turns out, there were three hurdles that I had to overcome to get that fixed. As a side note, EMMC is an acronym for Embedded Multimedia Card. It's sort of like an SD card, but it's permanently soldered on the board. It also has an 8-bit bus, so read speeds can go up to a theoretical speed of 400 megabytes per second. Compare that to the typical 25 megabytes per second for high-speed SD cards. In practice, the maximum speed for the chips mounted on Recore is 215 megabytes per second. Shaving seconds off the boot time is important when you just want to print something. The first problem was the voltage for the interface between the A64 and the EMMC. The EMMC was working fine when running U-Boot, but I could not boot directly from the card. Recore uses the AXP803, a PMIC with six available DC-DC converters and 12 LDOs. I had chosen ALDO1, but what I did not check was whether or not it was on by default. It was not, and the A64 ROM did not turn it on. And as you can imagine, ROM code cannot easily be changed. So I had to add a bodge wire to a different LDO. The second problem was a missing pull-up. I hooked the wires coming from the board up to a logic analyzer and had a look at the signals coming from the A64 when the ROM code was running. During initialization of the EMMC chip, the host will send several command messages and the device will respond to some of them. I was looking at the commands from the host and they looked fine, but the responses from the device did not seem to match the specification made by JDEC. So I had to look at the same signals on an oscilloscope and I noticed what looked like a weak pull-up during the response. Looking again at the hardware design files, I had neglected to add a pull-up on that line, which was what was causing that slow rise time. I added a pull-up and redid the tests. This time, the ROM got past the init phase and far enough to start writing messages to the console. The third and final problem was a software issue. There are a bunch of A64 boards made by other vendors, so the documentation for how to configure the A64 chip device tree is pretty straightforward. What is different about Recore is the lack of an SD card reader. Instead, the EMMC is the only card present, which the U-Boot did not have support for. It took some poking around the code, but eventually it found the spot where it was hard-coded that the EMMC would get device number 1 instead of 0. I had to patch that and then got the U-Boot SPL to load the U-Boot, which in turn loaded up the Linux kernel. Success! So, four days of debugging plus a week to make this video, and here we are. <laughs> Baby steps, I guess. Bye. Okay, they're gonna be okay.